what is a paradigm and what are the implications of research paradigms for research methodology in social sciences? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. So let us begin with the general understanding of a paradigm. Generally, a paradigm is a representation of our worldview. In other words, a paradigm tells us the way we perceive, conceive, and interpret the world around us or the natural or social phenomena around us. In a technical sense or in an academic sense, generally, a paradigm is a representative of our ontological, epistemological, axiological, and methodological positioning in terms of the way we uh, conduct research or so in terms of academic or research contexts. In the specifically in research contexts, a paradigm is basically a representative of our ontological, epistemological, axiological, and methodological positioning in the in the process in the conduct of research. Now um, the Ontological positioning is actually our positioning that responds that responds to questions such as what is reality? So what do, what do we understand by reality? What is the nature of social reality? What is uh, that we are in search of? Second, the epistemological positioning actually is then how do we know uh, re about reality or what is knowledge? What is the knowledge of reality and what are the ways in which we actually can explore reality that represents our epistemological positioning? The axiological positioning is uh, uh, in response to the question, what are ethical methods of knowledge or what are ethical methods of knowing. So what are the ethical means and ways of exploring natural or social phenomena? The methodological positioning or considerations are actually in the response to the questions, what is or what are suitable or useful methods to get knowledge, to explore, or to understand natural or social phenomena? So uh, these are the main questions that can help us in understanding our ontological, epistemological, and axiological positioning, uh, and also our methodological considerations. And so these ontological, epistemological, axiological, and methodological considerations will actually reflect the particular paradigms that we represent as researchers or academics. Now, Generally, in social sciences, there are three uh, main paradigms. The positivism, which is based on the philosophy uh, that social reality is objective, that it is universal and independent of our perception or interpretation. So objectivity, universality, and independence of the uh, social reality is something that represents positivism as a research paradigm. Um, the interpretivism is the other paradigm uh, that is based on the conception that social reality is subjective, that it is, that, uh, uh, it is contextual, and it is dependent on our perceptions or interpretation. So social reality generally, according to this school of thought, does not have an independent existence outside of our perceptions or interpretations of, uh, of it. Therefore, this is, you can say, a, a subjectivist school of thought. Uh, in, in many cases, this is also related to the constructivist school of thought, where knowledge is considered as something that is based on the construction of our um, experiences and, and perceptions. And the third paradigm is the pragmatism, is, is called pragmatist uh, paradigm or pragmatism. And so the academics who believe in the third paradigm are also called pragmatist. 
Here, the interpretation is that social reality is partly objective and partly dependent on our perceptions or interpretations. Uh, some researchers argue that social reality is subjective, but our knowledge of it is uh, social reality is objective, but our knowledge of it is based on subjective ways of knowing. And so there is both elements of objectivity and subjectivity in terms of the representation or, or nature of social reality. So that's the third school of thought. Now, how are these three schools of thought, the positivism, interpretivism, and pragmatism reflected when we are actually interpreting these in our research methodologies? So what are the implications of, of our paradigms to our research methodology? So generally, positivism is represented in, uh, in research studies that are quantitative research designs where the data collection, the sampling, the data analysis methods are generally quantitative. The samples are larger and representative. And so data is generally uh, uh, secured through, obtained through questionnaires, generally in quantitative form, uh, uh, in numbers, in quantities and through surveys and generally the analysis that is done is, uh, is based on statistical analysis. Um, the interpretivism is generally associated with qualitative research designs where the focus is on qualitative textual uh, data collection and analysis methods. The samples are generally non-representative. They are smaller, but they are focused and in-depth data is generally rather than large scale data uh, is obtained. And the main methods that are generally used in qualitative research includes observations and interviews. Um, and the data analysis methods that are used generally in, in the uh, qualitative studies that are generally considered representative of the interpretive school of thought is textual or thematic analysis. And lastly, the pragmatism is actually represented by the use of mixed method research designs, where there is a mix of both quantitative and qualitative uh, research designs. And so there is data that is partly quantitative, and then there are other sections of the study that are based on qualitative data collection analysis methods. Again. Uh, because these type of designs have uh, two sides, the quantitative and the qualitative. As a result, there are two types of samples. The quantitative part will have larger, while the qualitative part will have smaller samples. And there will be generally a combination of, the, of both quantitative and qualitative data collection and analysis processes. So, to summarize, uh, our research paradigms actually reflect our philosophical stances or positioning in terms of understanding and interpreting the nature of uh, social reality. And so generally, the paradigms are divided into these three main schools, the positivism, interpretivism, and pragmatism. Positivism generally represents quantitative research designs, experimental research designs, and as the name suggests, they, their focus is on the quantification of social phenomena. And interpretivism is based, is uh, um, actually represented by qualitative research designs, in-depth analysis, textual data analysis, and smaller samples, and contextual understanding is actually the outcome of it, thematic analysis, is generally used. While the third school of thought, that is pragmatism, as a paradigm is represented in mixed method research designs with a combination of both types, both quantitative and qualitative parts in it.